Hi, today we want to talk about changing the background to a custom background and or one of the other preset backgrounds. Stay tuned. So the ability to change the look of your radio is one of the main reasons why people started putting radios in their cars other than for sound. Don't get me wrong, sound was first, look was second. second. Because back in the day, if you had a BMW, you weren't going to put a green radio in your car. You needed a red radio because the dash lights were red. Not much has changed other than now we have more than just green and red lights. Pioneer, of course has a lot of options as far as color and appearance go, as well as the ability to customize the appearance. So we're gonna show you how to do it. So to start out with, hit your gears, come over here to the art palette, click backgrounds. Now once you're here, you can pretty much get to everything you want. You can select a different background. If you slide your finger across like this, you can get to more backgrounds. If you slide your finger across all the way, you can shut off the backgrounds slide it back we'll go here now once you find a background you like hit apply you can switch to your home menu too so you can make that different as well and then click apply go back to AV now you have illumination illumination has to do with these buttons across the bottom you can pick any one of the presets you can also make your own or have it do the rainbow thingy where it just changes colors. Next is themes. Themes allow you to change the background. So you come in here, you have a couple to choose from. Gray. And then you have the clock. You could change the font of the clock or if you're just not into clocks at all, you could turn them off. So there you go, you have a custom, unique looking radio but you want it more unique. So how do I make it more unique? Well, first you need to create an image. These screens are 800 by 480. So when you're working in the program that you're gonna to use to make an image, mm -hmm. try to make it 800 by 480. Now you can just take any picture you want and it'll just put it on there and it might not look as cool as you want. But if you wanna make a kick-ass logo with frills, 800 by 480 to a JPEG. Put it onto a thumb drive. And then you need to import it. But we, this is just displaying the logo. We want to actually make it a background. So we come over here, go to backgrounds, and we have this icon here, this one. Go ahead and click it. Now, what this is going to ask us is how do we want to import it? USB 1, USB 2, or SD card? You can use any one of these. The reason why we said USB is because USB is more readily available. So we'll click that. We'll click photos and it'll list. Now you can only import one, but you can have as many as you want here. The reason why that's important is because sometimes you might make one that you think is the coolest thing in the world and it looks like total crap. It's always nice to have variations of a theme. So go ahead and click that. And then if it's what you, if, you know, you can look at it and if it's what you like, you hit apply. And then hit X. And then go back here, go to here, scroll down to a source. And there you go. So now you can make your background as custom as you really want. How insane is that? That's the coolest thing. I know, right? You could put a cool Kia logo there or a Nissan, or if you got a 370Z, put a cool 370Z. Yeah, had a guy come in today yeah. with that yellow Corvette. He had a picture of his yellow Corvette on yeah. his radio. <laughs> I don't get that one, but hey, you know, whatever works for you, whatever turns you on. Well, thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. If you like our videos, please subscribe. We really like that. This is real special. Yeah, you took that a little too far. All right, if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to leave them down below and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, you guys have a good night as always, and we'll see you later. Bye.